Good morning to you. Welcome to the broadcast. Well, it feels like Monday, but it's not. I know, right? <laughs> it's it a short work week. It's not Monday? Love. It's not, I know. <laughs> no one told Susie. We skipped a day. Did you all have a good weekend? Yes. Yes? yes. Yeah. It yeah. was great. It was you good. know, I was talking about on Friday about our baseball tournament this weekend and how we were going to be crazy with that. And because of the weather in Dallas, it was canceled. So you got a weekend off. I got a weekend <laughs> off, girl. Except for we had about eight 11-year-olds at our house Sunday night for a sleepover. <clears throat> So I had to pay my dues somewhere in the weekend, but for the most part, it was very relaxing. Eight 11-year-olds. Yes. And you Eight went 11 to Wimberley. boys. That is, girl, that's brave. It was crazy. That is brave. Um, one little boy said he slept for five minutes. I believe it. And then they were up like seven in the morning. And then his like, parents call around. you the next day and they're like, what did you feed my children? Because <laughs> no, they wouldn't go to sleep. I warned all the parents when they picked up. I said, look, they have not had sleep, so they're going to sleep really good today. And so they were all happy. Oh, then they're thankful I did them, then. Like, I was going to say, they were did happy. Did you pick some pancakes? No, I got McDonald's. You did. <laughs> don't get on, don't and get I'm on sure me. they love that even better. Um, yeah, so I was in Wimberley for um, for the Memorial Day weekend, and so fun. Some friends of ours have a house uh, right there on the Blanco River, oh. and it had been raining so much. So the river they said was higher than they'd ever seen it, and so we got on the tubes and went down the river. We had so much fun. Isn't that fun? Oh, it was a blast and just relaxing. It's great to just be in a house yeah. full of friends. Yeah, and, it is. Yeah, it the was spray really tan nice. work for you. The spray tan worked, although you know how spray tans work where you get sprayed and then it gets darker over the next few days. <laughs> so, you get darker? Oh my gosh, girl, by the time it was, I, I don't know, I guess it was probably by Sunday, I was so orange. <laughs> you look like an Oompa Can Loompa. I ask you about that spray tan stuff? Do you put it all over your body? Or oh, you I have someone which kind spray you me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can stand in a machine and get sprayed or you can have someone a airbrush machine? you. Yeah. yeah, you stand yeah. like yeah. this. Where is the machine? Where is the machine? Just at, at, like at different tanning parlors. Salon. Do you stand there naked? Parlors. Yes. Or you yeah. stand naked? Well, yeah. you, can yeah. wear a, you can wear, like I wear a bikini, like a little bikini thing. You do really? Well, why, yeah. what's the need of your thing being... So you don't have lines. No one is seeing me naked, so it does not matter, y'all. Good for you, because you're not married. And my legs aren't shaved either. That's, um, that's right. That's true. Yeah, I didn't do any. I didn't oh, do. Oh, Courtney, you've got to shave those legs. <laughs> Well, here we are. <laughs> We're just Go family. I always said, don't shave your legs and you won't let it well, go too far. Okay, can we put a little bit of um, positive attention on Courtney? Because this morning we were all wearing yes. this beautiful jewelry. We're going we're gonna to have a whole segment on it coming up. But you launched your jewelry line I did. Today. I did. Um, I curated a collection for Bobble Bar, uh, which is my favorite online jeweler. And, um, yeah, it's been like nine months in the making. So we've been. I feel like I've been talking about this for months and years and so it's finally happened. I know um, we've all so waited to see the samples and so we have some of them. Yes, everyone's, two everyone's decked out. Y'all the, cool. the great thing Mine about this orange. collection is none of it is over fifty dollars. And oh, great. that like some of these pieces are thirty two dollars, twenty two piece twenty two dollars, thirty four dollars, like nothing is expensive. Ooh, I love that orange one, so, one Pat. Yeah, yeah this is the orange. cool like That's little beautiful. salmon rope necklace. And then Susie's wearing some turquoise. Yes what I love it. Turquoise. It's beautiful. So there's beautiful? definitely, yeah, we'll talk more about it, but there's and definitely I, I love something where the, for where everybody. The, where the price point is that you can layer them up because that's such a cool look. And you do that yeah. all the time with your pieces. And I'm always like, oh, that looks so good. But sometimes you can't afford to do it because each piece is, is pricey. So not the case here. It's yeah, so I'm really, really excited. So we'll, we, uh, Shoshana, who is the fashion director for Bobble Bar in New York, she is here today. So um, we're going to be doing some segments with Bobble Bar, um, one in the first hour about my collection, and then one in the second hour about some of their great summer pieces that are all under $50. How Hey, so wow. when you launch it, what happens? In other words, is this all internet or? or yeah, will it everything be from Bobble Bar is in the, is an internet, and then they have a pop up shop um, in New York and Soho, and so. Um, but yeah, everything is available online, and all the details are on my blog, and it's just a really exciting day. I'm just I marvel <laughs> at you every time you you I you get yourself into more stuff, <laughs> and most of us sit out there wondering about well, how can we let people know mm, yeah. what we've got, and you just make go it happen. Forth well, it's just I stay busy so I can so I stay out of trouble, Mom. 
so you're welcome for that. <laughs> um, but you know, I was I was talking to my good friend Ben last night, and we were talking about how like if your dreams don't scare you, and the things that you're like taking chances at, if they don't scare you just a little bit, then you're not dreaming big enough. And yeah, I, I, I really truly believe that. Like if the things that you're doing don't kind of frighten you, and you're like, what have I gotten myself into, and how am I going to yeah. do all this, and there's not enough hours in the day, then then you're not busy enough. I and so, yeah, and so the true. thing is, from to make your dreams come true, you have to not take the whole dream at once. Right. You take it one day, one piece oh, by piece so, and mm -hmm. then you don't get yes. overwhelmed. Well, and I think Scott that's and I talk been, about this all the time about like let's not plan for 12 months. Let's no. do like 12 just, days. Right. Just, well, and I think <laughs> that's know? been what's crucial and I mean because like if you look at Most Eligible which aired two years ago like there were people that I think certain people when they are given a platform they use it and they get their 15 minutes and then they try to fit as much as they can in and then the opportunities are dead after that. But for me, it was like establish the blog and then take some opportunities. And then, you know, this collection, like I wanted it to be done right and exactly what I loved. And I wanted to wait to do a collaboration with a brand that I'm obsessed with already. And it's like my readers, when they saw, when they see this, I mean, they're not going to go, oh, this is out of left field. Like they're going to go. It'll be fun We're to see. We're going to see the whole line. So yeah, I, we'll talk.